Yeah, it's been one serious accident. We don't know. I'm sure he's doing okay, but like he, the, the, it stopped for a while. So yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad. People were like fainting in the audience and stuff. We competed in the Red Bull Soapbox race in London and almost got wrecked. It's a crazy event where people from all over the world compete to build the weirdest, coolest and most random cars and then race them down a hill. We spent over 200 hours building our very own Supercar Blondie hypercar. Four of us flew out to London and we had one goal in mind, win first place. All right, let's rewind to March, four months before the event. Nathan randomly bumped into a video online of some guys dressed as fried eggs driving a pan down a hill. And Nathan was like, Ha ha, this is funny. And thought, That looks like so much fun. If only I worked at a huge social media page that's somehow related to cars. Then it hit him. I gotta get back to work. I'm on a deadline, man. Fast forward a few days, Nathan showed the video to the rest of the team and we discovered there was an upcoming race happening in London. Okay, so it's in London. London. The rules are simple. You need to build your own car, it needs to have brakes and steering, and you need to have four people on your team, including the driver. But we had a problem. We had four people, but none of us had ever built a car. And even if we had have built a car, how were we even going to get it to London? We had another problem. To apply for the race, we needed a design. And the deadline for that application was only a few weeks away. We spent days drawing up designs, researching how to build a car, and even ran some tests. After about a week, we decided we needed help. We only had two months now until the race and we had absolutely nothing. We had to find someone in the UK that could build a car from scratch in that amount of time and have enough time to test it. We emailed and called about a million places. Eventually, we got to the point where we decided to scrap the project. We were just spending way too much time on it and we just weren't getting anywhere. The juice wasn't worth the squeeze. But then, out of nowhere, Ludo came out and said he found a garage that had worked on a bunch of crazy projects in the outskirts of London who said they could actually pull it off. DT Motorsports, a small garage in Essex, UK, run by an ex-racer named Mick that specialises in customising performance cars with a reputation to back it up. They were confident in building the best chassis the Red Bull Soapbox had ever seen. Something lightweight, fast, sturdy, that could go over jumps and handle like a go-kart. After the chassis was built, it would be handed over a few blocks away to the paint box team. A group of rock and rollers led by Simon with a passion for building the weird and the crazy. We were back, baby. We needed to find a look. What kind of car did we want and why? Right, well, it has to be related to Supercar Blondie, so why not yeah. a big camera? We started drawing up ideas and after a lot of debate came up with this. There she was, a futuristic alien concept car with wings with what looked like two escaped prisoners behind the wheel, but let's ignore that for a second. It was beautiful. We had the idea, we had the people, and we had one month to build this car. The people over in London at DT Motorsports got cracking. Fast forward three weeks and we got the call. With the race only days away, Sergi and Nathan grabbed a flight to London to see it in person for the first time. Uh, we're here. The guys at DT had created a beautiful chrome blue looking chassis with all the bells and whistles. It even had double wishbone suspension at the front. What that basically does is keep the tires flat when we're turning. So when we're going high speed turning it, the tires will stay flat, get extra traction, zip it down the hill. Simon and the team over at Paintbox were busy working on the body. At that moment, the car was still pretty much a chassis and almost none of the body had even been installed. Yeah, this is awesome. But wow, this looks incredible. It's come together really good so far, but yeah. now we're at the point of just trying to work out yeah. everything. So I'm glad you're here because you've got some decisions to make. Yeah. <laughs> we were three days away from the race and still had a naked car. We didn't know if we were going to make it and we're pretty nervous. So basically we want to shoot out like a fire extinguisher from the back to give it like a smoke I'm effect. I'm removing the pin, Serge. Okay, so just like that. I think you just got to pull it out, I think. Yeah. Okay. Ah. 
Mission failed, we'll come back <laughs> to that. Right, well, um... We're two days away, so are we gonna make it? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, of course yeah. we are? Okay. Yeah. So they're, they're doing all the uh, hocus pocus, you know, they've already done the mainframe, and uh, basically, they're gonna start sticking. This is a wing that we actually want to revolve upwards. So, uh, yeah, because Red Bull gives you wings. We're gonna stick a can in there and shh. Where's it gonna come it's gonna up? Be good. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. good. That's what we're going for. The day before the race, Nick and I flew to London for the final inspection. Oh, oh it's cool. Hi, guys. Hi, uh, hi. <laughs> The team responsible for doing wow. absolutely everything. Oh wow! So, uh, Thanks, guys. Thank you. It looks great. And the team over at 64 Deluxe finished off the body in a chrome wrap that made this thing pop. And I love the touch of the van's soul used as the brake. That's vibes. This is so slow, we're gonna be going so much faster. Yeah. Like, I feel like we're in safe hands, like with the yeah. way they've built it, really. Yeah. Like, I don't think, like, there's no way this thing's falling apart. Like, there's no, some no, no, of those no. things they, fall the, apart, you know? Is, like, the chassis is, is The only is thing is if we fall out of the chairs. It'll be fine. You'll be all right. It's, it's not that stiff. Everyone say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sergi, any last I, I, I don't even know what to expect, to be Do honest. Do you want a, a last <laughs> meal tonight or something? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some tacos. <laughs> this thing was fast and it looked incredible. It completely exceeded our expectations. Awesome. Again, thank you all so, so much. I really appreciate all your hard work and it looks amazing. Way better than I ever thought. Yeah. So thank you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, tell you what, thank you Amazing team effort, guys. I'm just going to try and not die. <laughs> it was go time. Go. <laughs> We're going up! We're going up! We drove over to the location of the race, Alexandra Palace. We set up our car in our allocated space. Yeah, yeah. Our very first soapbox in the Red Bull soapbox race. You ready to see this? Wow, that is bright. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> That's the tactic, you know, just yeah. blind everyone before the race. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great we'll win. It works. So Holly's here to make sure that we have done everything correctly and we're allowed to actually participate. Yeah, is that... <laughs> oh, sorry. Is that going down uh, also... with you? Yes. Okay, is that being secured it is. a little bit more? Okay. Okay, guys, happy to sign that off. Yes! We passed, Sergi. Yes, you're going down. He was hoping it wouldn't pass. He's uh, shitting himself. Uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> and we walked around to check out some of the coolest cars we were up against. The uh, Harry Potter Hagrid's bike. Yeah. Um, we're going to have Hagrid driving the car. And Sweet. we're gonna have Harry Potter sitting in. Are you Harry Potter? No, I'm Hagrid. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. And it runs on Red Bull, obviously. Obviously, right? yeah. Yeah. And how many hours did you spend working on uh, this? We started on the 30th of May. Yeah, May. Uh, wow. And we stuck through four weeks. Four weeks. Every every evening. Every, every evening for four weeks. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck, guys. Think you're gonna make it down? No. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence. It's right up there. Left. We're the Alliance. Rebel Alliance. Rebel Alliance. Yeah. Rebel I just Alliance. got it. Yeah. I was just, I was walking along, I was like, this yeah. thing is freaking amazing. Yeah. So, okay, all right, tell us about it. What's the inspiration? Why this? Um, Red Bull gives you wings. Yeah, we wanted okay. to do something for Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. So, what has wings? So, we went with something that had four wings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a replica. Oh, I, I love it. I found that. the toy. <laughs> you okay. BBA in the back. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. that is awesome. Sick. <laughs> you guys are going to get top points for the show. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> So 
it took what three and a half weeks? Yeah, it took about three and a half weeks. Who did it? Know. You guys actually did it. Was it was there, yeah, a combination of me yeah. and Miles, really. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Look like how Randy coffee it. Look, you think I don't yeah. have this on my seat. I don't know. I should have put a request in. I'm, yeah. My butt's going to be hurting big time. Yeah, no, mate. Yeah. Budget. Budget. How much? It's about 500 pounds. pounds. Everyone's making this shit on such an yeah. amazing budget. Now, for a car this futuristic, we needed costumes to match it. Skin tight, futuristic body, aggressive gloves, and most importantly, shiny wings. We were ready to go. This is when things got serious. Rumors started spreading that the first ramp was the most dangerous as it had a double jump. If you went fast enough, you would fly off the first ramp and hit the second ramp head on. Many people were hitting it at full speed and getting seriously injured. All right, we are in the line. Actually, I'm starting to get nervous. Like I had to... Got the mouth guard ready. Ah. There's been one serious accident. We don't know. I'm sure he's doing okay, but like he, the, the, it stopped for a while. So yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad. People were like fainting in the audience and stuff. So I think the mood kind of got a bit funny. Now it's kind of getting back up again, but for a little while everyone's like, oh, this is serious, you know? Um, well, we're still going to go as fast as possible. Yeah, we are. I'm still not going to put the brakes on. Screw it. We wanted to record the fastest time, so hitting the brakes was not an option. Little did we know just how close we would come to regretting that decision. Oh, we're up next, guys. We're up next. A massive thank you to our sponsor, Frank Miller. The Nakamoto is out. Here it is. It's coming down with me, baby. All right. Let's do this. Well, you guys are looking super. How are you feeling? I'm actually a bit nervous. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh. Uh, anyway. That's confidence. <laughs> this is the supercar Blondie. Smash it, guys. Judges scores three eight and a nine. Getting their helmets on all the way from Dubai. Give it up for Supercar Blondie. That is Red Bull Sunbox Denim Patron. Helmets are nearly on there. Beautiful wings on the helmet. All right, Supercar Bundy, let's see what you've got. I think this is going to be super. Like I said, all the way from Dubai. They're flying. Great performance score. Nice start. Alex is looking a little bit scared. She's looking a little bit nervous. Straight over the water feature. That was a big impact, but they keep it on going. Straight over the wedge. Still smiling. Yes. Hand in the air. Yes, celebrate. they bossed it through the chicane. Lost a few of their wings, but the car's still in very good, Nick. 31 on the SOSB camera, straight over the kicker and into the hay bells. 39 seconds on. And we made it! We completed the hill in just 39 seconds. The fastest time ever recorded was around 35 seconds, and we even hit that last ramp at 52 kilometers an hour. We absolutely blazed through that hill, and I had no idea at the time, but Sergi was getting thrown around like a rag doll in the back. The first ramp, we hit it at top speed, just like we said we would. Sergi lost grip on the handles from the impact and was catapulted out of his seat. With nothing to hold onto, he grabbed my head as a last resort and pulled himself back in. He literally jumped on my head and somehow landed on the side of the chassis. 
On the second big jump with the stairs, the entire body flew right off and drilled Sergi smack bang in the face. And on the final jump, we both held on for dear life. But I think Sergi legitimately thought he was going to die. Wild. We have been laughing and crying the whole way up the hill. We don't know why it happened. I want to see it all in slow-mo. I, I almost landed on Alex's head. Uh, I literally flew off the seat had complete clearance and I saw the ground and then I don't know how but I landed back in. They're flying. <laughs> You're so scared. Oh my god, my face. No way. Um, we've been called down so maybe, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. That the winner of the People's Choice Award presented by our partner, Bosch. What did you win? Like what did you win? <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's like, shoot the toolbox. It's yeah. a drill. We didn't get a podium from the judges, but we got first place for the People's Choice Award. But most importantly, we had an incredible experience doing something completely bizarre, and we look forward to doing it again. Make sure you like the video, guys, and subscribe to Supercar Blondie. What do you guys think? Should we do it again? And what should be our design for next year? Pop it in the comment section down below. Yeah. Done. Done. Nice and work. Nice work. Thanks to Paint Bucks and to DT Motorsports. Yes. Deluxe. And Deluxe 64. 64. We got a lot of people working on this. Bye.